Hello, this is Victor at RestoreYourMercedes.com and this video is for Paulus in Lithuania and here we have S-Class throttle body and E-Gas module from the same car so combination is on the bench as you can see this is the E-Gas module and both are active right now they work together as you look here we have connections going down to the throttle body loom so just so you know that this is a combination that's been energized because usually I just work on throttles along I don't really check e-gases but uh, this came from far so I decided to um, ask for both modules so because it's from overseas so might as well just check both now the test has been successful so I don't see a problem anymore with um, either e-gas or throttle body now what happened here is this throttle came and uh, it was rewired at some point somebody did a rewire job on it it wasn't it wasn't great it wasn't great so uh, the wires they were like poorly soldered and the board was like too hot and can, you can see that they used very hot soldering iron and uh, the main connector uh, they did not go all the way inside and that is another thing that I needed to correct because when I took connector apart then I see that the wires were bare in there so obviously that's a that's a bad situation um, the entry point it was destroyed but whoever did this before I managed to save it because I like to save entry points so I saved the piece and I just sealed it a little better around with silicone just to prevent moisture entering this is the the shrink wrap here with glue in it so this is actually seals the entry point well um, throttle body was cleaned up there was some moisture inside I saw that on on the board but luckily I didn't have to change the board I reused the original board potentiometer looks good so that is a good thing I just in case I never really do this but I siliconed the actual covers I don't do that because really there is not significant need to do such a thing but I'm not sure on climate there so I don't know if it's too moist then maybe because if the throttle runs on the car it gets hot everything vaporizes and another thing is over here as you can see this is a vent this is the vent so moisture can in and out, to get in and get out mostly to get out obviously because if throttle would have been t totally sealed there will be a little bit of moisture going past the shafts you know right there going in to potentiometer to the motor and it's not critical it, it should all vaporize when um, when engine runs because it gets really really hot so for that very reason throttles they're not totally sealed units okay so enough of this chat let's just go to show the temperatures as you can see the throttle is running over a hundred okay so here we have e-gas module that runs around 84 this is the cold unit as you can see it's at 77 this is room temperature right now and this one is like I said it's at 104 um, hits around 104 so just to prove that these had been energized for quite a long time it's not easy to get this throttle to get to this temperature inside it's even hotter but aluminum dissipates heat like very nicely it's like a radiator so um, that's basically where we are now another thing is the activation of the unit is only possible halfway just because this is the way the controller works the S-Class E-Gas module does not let you open the throttle all the way that is fine that is to prevent over revving the engine on the startup so even when throttle opens like this on the startup you'll hit the red line so a throttle will open all the way when you actually drive the car and let's say you go uphill or you want to floor the vehicle then yes it will do what it needs to do but uh, the um, right at this point this is this is totally normal uh, operation here on my bench I have a different module that actually do allow me it does allow me to open throttle all the way but again 
we're testing this combination together so we're not we're not worried I'm not I'm, you know I'm not showing that and last thing I want to show is readouts so the readouts here this is an S-Class, so you can see the readout there on uh, potentiometer R1 is different. Right there, as you can see, 432.49, totally fine. So um, when we move the throttle linkage here, we're going to see the readout change. And that is just to show that potentiometer works, wa works well. So this is basically where we are. And that is basically going to be all now what's very funny about this particular module is that it does not see micro switches but again it's an S class it's different and maybe you know what maybe I'll pause this video I'll show you another module that that will allow me to open throttle all the way but and you can actually see that micro switches are registered um, just to prove that they do work so let me just pause this video. I'm going to have to reset everything and connect to different module just to prove the point that internals and throttle are good. Okay, so right now I just swapped out modules. As you see, the throttle now is not connected to these. It is connected to another loom right here. And this is a different set of modules that I have here. So now, first off, you can see that now it opens all the way and we're going to go and see the readout it's going to be different every module is set differently for different engine sizes <clears throat> and therefore uh, we have 202 chassis that's what I'm using so let's go and see gasoline engine here multiplexer but again as you can see now the throttle body opens all the way because 202 egas module lets me do such a thing Let me just change test cable connection real quick and off we should go to our as you can see menu is way less than what we have on on the um, on the S class, S class has more modules per se. But again, this is just to prove the point that throttle does open all the way. Just so you know it. Uh, I just want to make this video a little longer than usual, and the reason is because it goes this setup goes overseas, and it's not around the corner. So we need to make sure everything is on point here, at least to do the best test possible. Okay, so now throttle is closed. As you can see, my readout here, 4.24, not 4.3 something because this is a this is C class 220 chat 202 chassis. Well, 0.49 is there, and you also know that micro switches here. So you see, they're they're the, like different position. Don't worry about jumping. That's the computer glitch, but that's um, the switches right here. So if I move the throttle linkage over to open the plate micro switches will change their locations as you can see they became off on the same thing for readout they do change and when throttle opens all the way we have potentiometer readout to change as well again don't mind the jumping that's that's totally computer glitch it's been happening i you know it's always happens it always happens on all of them I don't know there's something something software glitch going on but um, yeah so you can actually see micro switches change potentiometers change so this basically proves the uh, the test of the throttle is successful and egas module works throttle works all the features are good to go clutch coil has been energized for days no issues I see with it so um, yeah so this combination is ready to be mailed back to lithuania to paulus the egas module looks like it's a 95 model first month of 1995 so this came from a 1995 model s class it appear. well at least the egas module because the throttle body was produced 
let's see, uh, Throttle Body was produced in 12th month of 1994, so yeah, most likely it's a 95 model S-Class, S420 or S500, one or the other. Okay, so this is going to be all, and this is Victor at historiamercedes.com, thank you for watching.